So we are going to focus today on compositing and you can get away with, you know, without achieving a composite result in terms of the potato sack, but I always recommend, if you've seen my videos and how to achieve it, to make sure that the hands are always on the baby. So you can, when I, what I mean by getting away without doing a composite is by simply just removing a supporting arm in, in post-production. But today we're focusing on bringing two photos together and uh, what we're gonna do is, is merge them like we do with any other composite and I'm gonna show you some quick little tips and tricks on how to do that. So I promise you it won't be so long. I've got my two photos open of this beautiful baby boy, little Ryder. Now, if, you're, if you've watched the tutorial, he was a little unsettled and it's always my go-to when it comes to doing the potato sack. Um, if I've got an unsettled or awake baby, just wrap them up, make them feel nice and secure. And sometimes you, you know, you just gotta take your time. But once they get wrapped, and we saw in this tutorial, once he was wrapped, he went and off into a beautiful sound sleep and we were able to get our shot as well which was fantastic. So it's all about being patient and being safe. So I've got my two photos here. The first photo I took was where Tracy had her hand at the back of his neck and her hand at the front and then it's a simple count one two three bring that front supporting hand away and then swapping our hands over to get the next shot where we've got that hand on top of the head. Alrighty, so I'm gonna grab this photo and I'm gonna place it on top of the other image. So I'm just going to select it, Command A and Command C to copy, or you can go up to your edit menu to copy the file from there. You can also drag and drop it, um, multiple different ways to achieve that result, but I'm just gonna paste it in here and there it is. So I've got before and after. Now you can see there is a slight difference in terms of my camera position, but the um, in terms of moving up or down or going closer or further away. So this is where that top layer, I need to reduce the opacity of it. And you can see that bottom hand coming through underneath. So we're at about 50% there. So I'm gonna take that top layer into transform. That's command T. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm zooming in just to see how much of a difference there is in terms of size. So I'm just lining up the ear on the left hand side and I can see that I must have sort of moved further back to take that shot because the baby's smaller within the frame. So this is where I can resize it to match. The image underneath it can be a little tricky Now it's the face and the hands that I'm concerned about um, in terms of the, the spotter's hands, not the baby's hands. So I just wanna make sure that the width of the head is the same. And when I bring those two photos together, it's going to um, be nice and easy for me. I'm not too worried about his little hands down here not matching up. It's just the outside of his head and his ears there. Another way you can do that is um, in, by inverting that top layer. So if you just hit Command I, you can invert the layer and that helps you match up the lines as well. But you can see I am quite patient in terms of getting it right. I'm looking for that line there on the cheek over here and that looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to increase the opacity to 100%. And now what I'm gonna do is add a layer mask. I'm going to invert that layer mask, so I'm gonna take it off, take the layer off the image in the background. And all I'm, I'm using from that, that image is the information where the hand is. So I'm gonna come in with my white brush at 100%. And this is where, if you've watched some of the previous editing tutorials, I will change the size of my brush to change the hardness and the softness of my brush. So a bigger brush means a soft edged brush, like a nice soft edge, and a smaller brush obviously is a harder edge. And so I just need to match the edge that I'm brushing up against in terms of the hair here at the um, back of the head and then the ear as well. And 
and then switching back to a black brush here and removing that part of the finger. And now I can come over to this side and I'll zoom out so we can use a nice big brush. So hitting my X key to go back to a white brush. And this is where I can paint in this background here. And I've got to be careful of that little finger. But areas like that when it's not connected to anything, so at the moment the tip of that finger is not connected to the head or the arm, that's easy if you can't get rid of it in terms of painting it um, off. Removing it that way, you can also use the patch tool to get rid of it if you need to. And then switching back to a black brush to remove that part of the layer. Okay, so there we have our composited potato. <laughs> um, from here, this is where I would just continue on with my normal edit. potato sack. <laughs> oh, all right, I hope that was um, helpful, beneficial. Um, I do love editing. It's not many people do. I know I see a lot of people um, posting on social media, oh, I'm sick of editing or they're not sure. But once you get your rhythm and you get organized within your you know, your work space in terms of Photoshop or whether you're using Lightroom and then coming into Photoshop, that's your call. And you know, you have to have a system and a, a workflow that works purely for you. But it's all about making sure that you are spending less time, obviously, in front of the, the computer. And when I say I love editing, I love it now because I don't spend hours editing um, one photo unless it's obviously for an award shot or something like that and I'm literally editing every pixel but it is all about you know getting a consistent workflow and then you'll start to see the style of edit that you've got and when you you're shooting consistently and you're getting your exposure right in camera you'll start to see some really consistent results in your client galleries um, that you're producing so it'll it'll be it'll work really well for you take care and stay safe. I'll see you soon.